Today is the day after my first treatment of ABVD. I crashed five minutes before the game last night. And then I woke up with night sweats at like 1.30 and then I never went back to sleep. Really special thing about yesterday, aside from the fact that it was my first ever chemotherapy treatment, one out of 12, one on my way to becoming healthy. Zeta and I got to sit together as I was getting my first ever treatment. I mentioned it in one of my videos earlier, but my Zeta is actually battling lung cancer right now. And he's been going through chemo for about a year and a half now. He lives in New Jersey, so I don't get to see him often. Zeta is one of the most amazing people I've ever met. One of the most amazing men that I've ever met. It was a little bit emotional at times, but it was reassuring to him that I'm getting treated at an amazing center. I'm really grateful that he got to be there with me for at least one of my treatments. That I was most anxious about was accessing my port because I'm really not a fan of needles. Dana is the one that accessed my port. It's like a whole sterile procedure. We're both wearing a mask. It's really, it's awesome. Like it makes me feel very good about risk of infection. I was so nervous and then I didn't even feel a needle. So it's actually healing amazing. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of sunny out where I am so everything just looks dark on the screen. The only thing that made me feel icky yesterday, not pain, but like it was a little bit of an adjustment is needing to take my IV with me to the bathroom. And I haven't been thinking about the chemo as a harm I am just really ready to get healthy and get back to being my old self. I am tired a lot. That's from symptoms of Hodgkin's and now like it's from chemo. Soon on my off weeks, I should be feeling up to exercising and up to doing all that fun stuff. So let's pray for that or wish for that and hope for that and manifest that. My skin's gonna get really sensitive. It already I do have sensitive skin already. Like I said, I'm allergic to the tagoderm and I, I noticed it right away after Dana put it on when she accessed my port. My lips are kinda getting chopped already. I put on chapstick, but there's like little cracks. I need to get better about picking my face because you're not allowed to pop pimples. It's like a recommendation because that you can get bacteria in and it's just more, you can get infection. So I need to do everything I can to stay away from any kinds of bad bacteria and infections. And so I'm, I'm on the road to that. I've learned a lot from the nutritionist yesterday. Being completely exhausted after chemo is a real thing. It's day four since I got my treatment. I was up for like 24 hours the first day after treatment. That's probably because I was the steroids that they give you. Then I crashed and then I was just tired and I woke up. I, you, I have jaw pains. Mostly all the pains are like in my mouth and in my throat. My lips get really dry. I have to moisturize them a lot. I've been getting pimples around my lips. My tongue has been pretty patchy. I think I just... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have an appetite here and there. I do have to be reminded to eat sometimes. When I wake up, I'm pretty hungry. <sighs> when I wake up, I'm pretty hungry. I'm like, I shouldn't sleep all the time. I'm exhausted and that's okay. I need all the rest I can get. Hopefully this will just last a few days after chemo. So today's day four. So hopefully by tomorrow I'll be up and running drinking some spearmint tea to help with my toothaches. I went out yesterday for the first time since chemo. We decided to make a smoothie with anti-inflammatory foods and whatnot. So we made a yummy smoothie with ginger leafy greens aka spinach celery frozen berries and water and flax seeds and some honey and it's pretty tasty i gotta say i love the ginger yeah yeah 
do they go away? Peace, love. Kombucha. And bye bye, Peace. cancer. Peace. And if you have any other suggestions for videos that I should do or questions that you have or things that you're wondering, let me know. Everything is going to be